Good morning, everyone. It is a very rainy time of year here in Georgia, as it would turn out. We have been having a terrible time trying to find dry roads to cruise. Um, but today we're down in the Sand Hills region. The weather is actually way drier and way better looking than it has been the last couple of days. I've tried to make a video several days in a row now, and it's just been awful and wet. Uh, but today actually looks like we might stay dry, but we're going to be driving around down here and hopefully the snakes will come and if they do, I will let you guys know. So we just found a snake track over there and we were following it off the road to see if we could find what it was. And Nick spotted it and it's a rat snake, which is really strange. These guys are fairly common here in the sand hills, but you don't see them too often. Um, you see them more often in like the areas around here. But yeah, first snake of the day. Nice sub-adult small adult rat snake with a big meal in him it is not very often that i get to find a snake track and then actually get to see the snake so this is very cool um, this guy does have a big meal in him though so we're not gonna mess with him at all we're just gonna leave him right there and i'm gonna walk over here and show you guys the track that he left <clears throat> so when we were looking at this we thought it might be a hog nose or a pine snake um, just because the way the track is. I was not expecting a rat, but sure enough, straight that way. Ah, fire ants. <laughs> uh, well, just where he went down looks so hog -nosy, like that's weird. But I guess, I mean, he probably slid down more than anything with that big meal in him. But anyways, first snake of the day, we're going to keep moving, and uh, hopefully that's a good omen. All right, guys, we just cruised a big gopher tortoise. Look at that. This is not a species we get to see too commonly in the sand hills. There are a lot of them here, but it's just not very often you actually see them. And uh, usually when you do, it's in the summertime when I'm down here the least often. So really cool. Second video in the last couple of weeks that we've gotten to find a gopher tortoise. Pretty cool. But anyways, we're just going to make sure that no one hits this guy while he makes his way off the roadway. And uh, we're going to head out and keep cruising. Go on. You can't just sit here all day. All right, maybe you can but he's not on the road anymore, so we're gonna keep driving and see if we can find another snake. What's up, dude? Gopher tortoise number two for the day. How's it going? Look at this guy just chilling out in the hot. Oh, they're so cool. Never gets old. What a beautiful little tortoise. I can't believe we're having so much luck with these guys today. I never see these out here. This is a real treat. Go on. Go on, get out of the road. I can't divert traffic around you all day. Go on. <laughs> go on. He's just, he doesn't want to go off the road. He wants to walk up it, apparently. This is slightly problematic. It looks like... Yes, go that way. Good idea. Great idea. All right, go for tortoise number two for the day. And uh, in case you can't tell by how it looks outside, it's hot all of a sudden, like 92. All right, guys, we just got lunch. It's uh, about five o'clock in the afternoon at this point, and hopefully it'll be cooling off here relatively soon. Um, we haven't seen anything but gopher tortoises basically since the, uh, the rat snake. We did find a DOR mud snake from a couple days ago, which was really interesting because I've never seen them down here. Um, but either way, it's been a relatively productive day considering the time of year so far, and hopefully the best is still ahead of us. We're still gonna hold out and hope that this afternoon is productive, but. Uh, there's only one way to find out, so I will check in with you guys if that happens to be the case. Oh my god! Holy Beautiful. That is my first Central Georgia pine snake. That is incredible. He's got dirt in his mouth. That giant storm is about to obliterate us. But yeah, pine snake, northern and uh, Florida intergrade are the ones here. They're not quite northerns. This one actually kind of leans a little bit northern in my opinion. You don't really see that stark white on Florida pines in Georgia. I mean, that is a beautiful snake in every way. That's the holy grail right there. It, there's not a better snake to find in this part of Georgia. I mean, we're not gonna have much time to spend with this snake because the rain is coming right for us, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a story of how this happened. Uh, I last updated you guys not too long ago, but we just found the track of this snake over there. And the way this road is built, this tiny little section of habitat right here cuts past where 
the track was going from. So we were like, maybe it's gonna come out on the other side of the road. We just drove like 10 feet around the corner and saw it come down out of the grass and onto the road. Since the rain is coming, we're gonna make our time with this snake brief, unfortunately. But I mean, this is it. This is the holy grail. This is as good as it gets around here. That is just incredible. Intergrade pine snake here in central Georgia. What an absolutely stunning snake. And the only snake we've actually successfully found crossing the road. We found coach whips crossing the road that got away. We saw two of them today and lost them. And we saw the rat snake that we tracked off the road. But this is the first one we've actually gotten a good look at. And this rain is starting to come down hard on us now. Or it's starting to drizzle a little bit. But I'm sure the pouring is coming. So we are going to photograph this beautiful snake real quick and move him to the other side of the road. Listen to that hiss. So the pines in this region, well, I mean, obviously this is about as good as snakes come in the southeast. The pines in this region are not quite as rare as where I spend most of my time looking for them up in North Georgia. Um, wow, hello. But I mean, I've been herping this area in my entire life as well, and I've never seen a live one. Lots of dead ones. This is my first road cruise pine snake, period. I've never seen one on the road before today. <laughs> so am I. I cannot believe that just happened. Look at that white. That is an incredible snake. He's got dirt in his mouth and ants, like he was digging around in an anthill right there. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, wow. Well, it sprinkled on us for a second, but I think the worst of that storm magically dodged us. But the contrast on this snake against the wet dirt is just, that white is incredible. I was not expecting to find a snake this nice looking in this region. I mean, that is mind-blowingly beautiful. Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> I'm just blown away right now. That is absolutely incredible. I could sit here and watch and take pictures of this snake all day, oh, but yeah. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. That is the holy grail of snake hunting in the southeast. Changed my mind. It's not a northern. The northerns are the true holy grail. I mean, that is still just such an incredible snake. And it's an exceptional individual for this area, too. I mean, they can be nice here, but I'd say the average is, uh, you know, significantly lower than this in this region. But they're not biting. All right, everyone. Well, the time has come to tear myself apart from this beautiful snake. I'm going to take a couple more photos, but this is going to be the last video, painfully. I mean, it's painful to spend as much time looking for a snake like this as I did and only spend a few minutes with it. But the truth is, there's more rain coming potentially, and this snake has places to be. So we're just going to lead him to his business. We're going to make sure he gets to the side of the road he was heading towards and just leave him alone. But that is absolutely, I mean, my month, my summer is made with this snake. This is my favorite snake of the year, probably without any hesitation at this point. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I'm in disbelief that this even happened. I mean, I, I know it's kind of anticlimactic for me to find a pine snake and not be absolutely screaming about it. But internally, I am screaming. I'm just like, yeah, I, my mind is still blown. I'm in shock that this has even happened. So with that being said, we're going to say goodbye to this beautiful snake and hope this isn't the only one we see on this channel over the next few years. I really hope it's not the only one I see this year, but uh, if it is, that's okay, because that is a beautiful snake, perfect in every way, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So we're gonna let this beautiful girl go on the other side of the road where she was heading, and uh, probably call it a day, because this rain is going to probably put a damper on cruising. But the prefrontal window worked perfectly today, right before the rain. I mean, it was probably like not even five minutes before that rain hit when we found the snake initially and it started drizzling on us and the wind picked up and we just kind of threaded the needle between those two storms somehow and didn't get hit by either of them particularly hard. And as a result, we're able to spend a little bit more time with the snake before we let it go. But like I said, we're going to move him off the road and uh, that might be the end of this part of the video. All right, well, this guy is as far off the road as uh, he needs to be. Hopefully he will turn around and continue his business and not come back on the road. But yeah, pine snakes, they're neat. Let's get back to it. Uh, we might drive around a little bit more while it's not pouring and uh, see if we can find anything else. But that might end up being the only other snake we see today. 
All right, guys, we're going full Lou Boyer today because we are about to go walk around in the swamp all night long. What's up, guys? I'm here with Greg, and uh, we're heading down to the creek to shine around and see what we can turn up. So hopefully it's going to be a pretty productive night out here in the swamp, but uh, I will update you guys as things happen. So first find of the night, we were walking along, and I just saw a egg sitting on the ground. I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And I glanced over, and there's just an entire turtle nest that was never bothered to be covered by the, the one that laid it, I guess. So uh, I think we're going to try to cover that up. That could be soft shell, alligator snapper, we're not sure. But we're going to make sure those eggs stay underground and protected, and hopefully they'll have a chance at hatching. But really cool. Good way to start the night. <laughs> All right, guys. Greg has our first in-hand turtle of the night. Nice little loggerhead. We're probably going to see dozens of these guys tonight. So... Um, but it's a nice looking one to start the night with. Nice and clean and healthy. Handsome adult loggerhead, musk turtle. Look at him go. <laughs> Here we have a absolute ton of freshly hatched, I'm assuming these are probably toad tadpoles of some sort. I guess Fowler I could still be breeding. Um, nothing is calling right now, really, so I don't really even know what these will be, this freshly hatched. I mean, they're minuscule. Look at these tiny guys. Yeah, and those are baby crayfish, too, so they make the tadpoles look bigger than they really are. Here's a normal, that's actually a baby bass over here just feasting on these guys, baby shoal bass. I'm sure he's having a good time over here eating baby tadpoles. You can try to get the in situ. Here's our first snake of the night. A little Midland water snake out swimming around. I might try to grab him here so we can get some footage. <laughs> there you Straight back into the spot we caught him in. Yeah. All right, guys. Greg just spotted a kind of ridiculous little turtle. Look at that guy. He might have a crack right there. <laughs> that is amazing. That is a little baby loggerhead. Here's one of the many really cool little fish we see while we're out here doing this. This is some sort of darter. Um, there's quite a few species in here, I believe. A really cool little bottom-dwelling fish that uh, kind of scoot around on these rocks. They use their fins like hands to hold on to this slippery rock. There's a little minnow of some sort. But just tons of life in here, and you can hear a fowler's toad calling right now. Um, I thought it would be too late for that, but evidently it is not, so that's probably what those tadpoles are, if I had to guess. So, still nothing crazy on the turtle or snake front yet, but it's still early. We're kind of killing time, waiting to hit the good stuff until it gets a little later. Here's another nice fowler eye posted up and getting ready to call. Really surprised to see these guys calling this late, but uh, I mean, there's not really a ton of them calling like there would be if it was mid-May. Just a couple here and there. So just so you guys can see Greg standing here, and then that right there, see Greg for scale. One of the biggest bass I've ever seen. Just like shined up, chilling. Looks like she might be trying to make a bed there. Um, but really cool. You should be shoal bass in here, but you never know where stray large mouse are gonna show up. Um, so not really sure what this guy is, but good looking bass either way. Greg for scale round two. He's sitting behind it now. That is a very large fish. Definitely a uh, potential predator of little turtles. Even like full grown loggerheads could fit in that thing's mouth. Here's an NC2 banana. And actually another one, and an apple. Very nice. That is some strange bycatch while looking for alligator snapping turtles. You don't really expect to see 
just an eastern box turtle chilling in the creek like that. That's strange. Contrary to popular belief, box turtles are actually quite at home in the water. Even though they're not primarily aquatic, at least. Here's our first one of these for the night. Kind of surprised it took us this long. There's a sleeping green snake right there in the middle of my light. Me and Greg literally just shined here, and then we turned around, and then on the way back, spotted this guy that we all stood right beside, but nice sleeping rough green snake. I don't think we're gonna mess with this guy, just leave him to his slumber. Um, but if we see any more, I will stop and show him to you guys. But first one of these guys for the night. Fish diversity, I'll say it again. One of the best parts about uh, shining at night like this, you see all sorts of cool fish. I think these are both little shoal bass. Really cool looking fish. All right, I'm waist deep in the water right now. I'm just finding bananas every three feet. Weird. This is a real nice looking little root system right here. Only one banana inhabiting it today though. Look at this glorious dragonfly. He's titanic and beautiful. Look at that. Look at those eyeballs. Hand for scale. That thing's amazing. Anyways, it's like almost 1 a.m. at this point, I think. So we're getting into prime turtle time. And uh, if we're gonna find anything crazy tonight, it's gonna be here in the next hour or so. All right, guys, Greg just struck with our next turtle of the night. This is a young female Eastern River Cooter. Really good looking little turtle as they always are. Uh, we've seen a good amount of these guys this year, even cruised a couple of larger females looking to lay their eggs, but always nice to see them in habitat like this. Good looking little turtle, but uh, fairly common and might not be the last one we see tonight. So we're just gonna release her after a couple photos. All right, I'm good when you are. Into the depths. All right, guys, here's our next cooter of the night. We actually saw a third, I guess more than a third at this point, but we saw another one that I wasn't able to show you guys because it got away. But I think this is the third we've seen in about the last 10 minutes and the smallest of the three. But really nice little juvenile cooter. I'm just gonna let him go. Straight under the rock. <laughs> Here's another nice one for the diversity tally for the night. Real good looking little southern leopard frog with some real good green coloration on him. But we've seen a, basically every species of ranid that lives around here, green frogs, bullfrogs, leopard frogs. So we're gonna keep moving though. It's about, I guess, probably around 2.30 a.m. at this point. Dude, dude, these armadillos are trying to do the nasty over here. Look at this. Dude, that's his face, that's his face, dude. Wrong way, wrong way. Yeah, there you go, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> we just witnessed an armadillo tea bag, everyone. This is the kind of content that you sign up for here on NKF Herping. Look at how muddy these guys are. They've really been rooting around. What's up, mud boy? Dude, they're so cool. What are you guys doing? Just rooting around eating worms and that's their life. Oh yeah, come back, come on. Give the people what they pay for. Go on. Oh shit. What the? <laughs> I didn't know they could stand up like that. Dude, this is scary, I don't like this. Why is this guy squaring up with me? <laughs> All right. Sorry, my flashlight was in my mouth, but there's our next cooter of the night. We've uh, had a little bit of a dry spell. Haven't seen anything crazy for a, a while. Well, we haven't seen anything crazy yet tonight, but that feels like it was the first turtle I found in a while. But we're still at it. All right, guys, Greg has finally found our next turtle. I actually found a little Midland water snake, but he got away before I could get video. But nice little steaming loggerhead. Surprisingly, not very many of these tonight, but found a couple nice ones. He's got a mayfly on him. 
<laughs> All right, really good looking turtles. Glad to see these guys. All right. Releasing the loggerhead. Whee! All right, guys, the night is winding down. It's getting real late, and we have not found our target, which is an alligator snapping turtle. But Greg just spotted another nice little Merodia. I mean, that is a really clean looking little snake. Look at that. It's actually a decent size, too. But well, we've seen plenty of these guys tonight. I've seen a couple that I haven't been able to film, but either way, might end up being the last find of the night. Well, everyone, it ended up being a solid night. We didn't really see anything crazy. It was a little on the slow side for that area. But I mean, it's always fun to get out and just shine around at night. You always see weird stuff. Like I never thought I was gonna shine a box turtle in the creek tonight, but I did. And uh, yeah, it's just always a good time getting out with Greg too. Make sure to check out his channel if you haven't already. And I think I'm gonna be wrapping this video up here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.